Hello everybody, uh, my name is Kike Escamilla and welcome to my home in Toronto, Canada. Uh, this is part of the 2020 edition of the Illuminato Festival Toronto Virtual. Um, and today I'm going to perform some of my original music and I'm also going to share with you uh, one of my favorite recipes, uh, which is Mexican ceviche. So, see you in my kitchen and then we'll have some music. So here we have all the ingredients I'm going to use. Um, some Himalayan salt, one avocado, about four tomatoes, um, a half cucumber, four or five limes, depending on how juicy they are, uh, a little bit of cilantro, but if you're not a fan of cilantro, you can uh, replace cilantro with arugula and it works uh, as well. Two uh, hot chili peppers, and it doesn't matter if they're red or green, but as long as they're a little spicy. So, And then I'm gonna use also about one and a half onion, or it could be just a big one, depending on you know the size that you get. The, the shrimp which is marinating in lime right now, so I'm gonna show you that. So this is the kind of shrimp that I got and this is a tiger shrimp. It's fresh from the market and you want to make sure that you get the fresh one so you get the most flavor out of it. All you have to do is peel it off and it's super easy, you know, as you can see it just takes about a second to peel it off and, well, two seconds. This is how the shrimp is going to look like after it's been sitting in the fridge for about two hours and I used uh, four limes of this kind, this size, and I squeezed them um, on top of the whole pound of shrimp and you know it's safe to eat, it's ready, it's cooked and we can just cut it in smaller pieces so it's nicely spread um, among all the other veggies that we're going to use. So let's do that. So there you go, now it's nicely uh, cut in pieces. Now let's cut all our veggies and uh, let's start with the tomatoes first and so on. So here are all the ingredients mixed um, all together in the bowl and uh, the shrimp is at the bottom but I usually don't um, like to mix them you know I just wait until the end until all the ingredients are all in the bowl so that I can just start mixing them and I don't stir them too much so that the avocado doesn't get all mushy and you know uh, doesn't look so nice and I'm gonna add some Himalayan salt and that's depending on how much salt uh, you know you like to eat or you can take so in my case I love um, lime and salt, so I'm gonna put a, a little bit of that. And then uh, I'm gonna add a little extra touch of lime, fresh lime juice, so that it's you know stronger than the one that's been sitting in the fridge for two or three hours. So. I'm gonna have the final um, test. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'll see you guys in a bit in my other room. I'm gonna play some songs and enjoy ceviche with um, a beer or a margarita or any drink of your choice. It works with anything. All right, enjoy. Uh, I would like to play a song that is from my latest album titled Encomienda. And it's a song that I wrote with the intention of telling and supporting this story of the many missing indigenous women in British Columbia. And I also wanted to draw a parallel with the story of the many missing women in Mexico and the rest of the continent. 
So this song is called Highway of Tears. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Enjoy the summer.